So this question is for you. It's very similar. Uh, what areas are so important to you that you do not think it's appropriate to compromise? I believe that there are uh, compromises that can be made on most issues. But on core principles that we hold, there aren't compromises. For me, I'm pro-life. And I believe in the value of each life. And to compromise in any way, to say that um, I, would, I would support abortion uh, after 20 weeks, for example, uh, that would be difficult. In the Nebraska legislature, we passed the first pain-capable uh, ban, and it banned abortions after 20 weeks. We had 44 senators vote for it. We had pro-choice Republicans vote for it, and we had pro-choice Democrats. In fact, Bill Avery from in Lincoln, who was the national committeeman for the Democrat Party, he voted for it because it was a common sense bill that addressed an issue that all of us, except the most extreme, could agree upon. Okay, Senator. let's leave it right there. Uh, Council Member Raybould, the same question to you. What areas are so important to you uh, that you do not think it's appropriate to compromise? Well, protecting our seniors. You know, we have made a commitment to safeguard retirement securities. I will stand up for our seniors every single day that I am in the U.S. Senate. You know, this year we're celebrating the 83rd anniversary of Social Security and the 53rd anniversary of Medicare. Senator Fisher has voted to gut Medicare by $500 billion over the next 10 years, changing the program as we know it and turning it into a voucher system. Senator Fisher voted for the privatization of Social Security and raising the retirement age. Nebraska needs a senator who will protect and side with our seniors, and that is exactly what I intend to do when I'm in the U.S. Senate. I can think of no better way to fight for those folks who have contributed their entire working lives to Social Security and Medicare, and we can make that fund fully viable for the next generations. Senator Fisher, you have 30 seconds to respond. Social Security and Medicare. Thank you. I'm sorry my opponent continues to be negative, but I would say to you that when we look at Social Security and Medicare, we need to keep our promises to our seniors. And we've done that. If we're looking at changes to that, we're not going to have it affect anybody who's 50 years old or older. People are not going to lose it. But what worries me is looking at the other party when they talk about Medicare for all. That means Medicare for none. We'd be looking at, even if you doubled the tax rates for corporations and individuals, you couldn't pay for that $32 trillion it's going to take. Thank you, Senator. So people are going to be looking at government making their health care choices and raising their taxes.